All right, what's up, guys? It's David AK Reverse Long, and I'm over here at the top of the the rooftop of the Athletic Club. You know, I'm doing one of these. It is the long weekend, so tomorrow we have the day off. It's Monday, uh, President's Day, and you know, I've been in, like in a flow state recently. So like these extra days, these holidays, it feels like it they, like they come around every other week or something. You know, we had uh, January a couple holidays, December a couple holidays. So many holidays. But anyway, regardless, you know, I'm using this uh, the weekend to catch up on things and to work on other stuff. I just finished a podcast right now with Mighty Stocks. And um, I don't know if it's, it's actually going to come out before this one. So by the time this one comes out, it had the Mighty Stocks one. What a good podcast. It's an hour straight long uh, talking with Mighty Stocks. And he actually longs short traps. And he sees them very clearly. He speaks about them. There's a lot of insight there. Um, I loved it, man. There's a lot of insight. I, I, I listened to it another time as I walked over here to the Athletic Club. Um, I, I like to listen to my own podcast again, you know. It's like a rehearsal, like what Sam DeGash talks about. Rehearsal, you know, like rehearsal and, and Joe Dispenza, his mentor. But anyway, we're going to get into the topics here in a second, but I wanted to make an announcement. Uh, okay, so March 1st through the 3rd, we had the Conscious Trading Conference. The first day, March 1st, is a Friday after the market closes, which is over here in the West Coast, 1 p.m. Around 2 or 3 p.m., we're going to meet in the 54th floor, one of my favorite spots at my office, the Friendly Bear headquarters right there. U.S. Bank Tower, the trophy skyscraper of Los Angeles, the tallest skyscraper west of the Mississippi. I don't know if you can see this one over here, the Intercontinental. They cheated. They put an antenna. That is BS, man. The antenna doesn't count. It's tacky. Um, but anyway, that's the true skyscraper, the tallest one in the West. And the tallest in the world with the helipad. So it has a helipad. So quick, brief story. You know I'm an architect before trading, right? So before I came into trading, that's what I did. All the skyscrapers in Los Angeles, they all have a flat roof. And they all have helipads. They're required to have a helipad after a certain floor. Because back in like the 60s or 70s, there was a fire and everybody went to the rooftop and like the helicopter couldn't get the people. And because of that one incident, all the, the, the politicians were after that incident. They, they mandated every uh, building has to have a helipad and no one's ever used the helipad since. So it's like it's kind of limiting the, the aesthetics of L.A., the, 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 sky, the skyline until recently. Until recently, I think they passed, they, they got rid of it. And now there's like. You see a couple of new skyscrapers. They don't have that flat top anymore. But anyways, before I start ranting about architecture. But yeah, that's why it has the highest helipad in the world. Because LA is the only city that, that mandates uh, helipads for everything. Uh, you know, for every, how, however high it goes. So that is the tallest skyscraper in the world with the helipad. And we're going to go to the... <laughs> We're not going to fly. We're not going to go in the helicopter, though. But we are going to go hang out in the 54th floor. There, why are there so many helicopters when I'm talking over here? But anyway, we're going to go to the 54th floor. We're going to have a mastermind session. A lot of uh, a couple of my, a few of my trader friends, very successful. They're coming and be part of that. We have some traders of all levels coming in for that as well. All traders are welcome. You just got to, you just got to get the, you know, the, the, the VIP ticket to attend the mastermind. And then Saturday, March 2nd, we're going to be doing uh, the full day conference, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Doubletree, which is Little Tokyo right over there. Everything is within very close distance. I walk, but you can take an Uber for a few minutes. I like to I like to walk and, and uh, exercise, you know, so it's not even that bad of a walk. But um, Saturday, Little Tokyo, Doubletree. Um, Sam Degash is flying in. He's going to host that with me. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot of good traders coming in, too. Um, it's going to be an awesome event. The last time we had the event, we had some some surprise guest speakers. And it was an amazing event. And we're taking it a step further this time. So you don't want to miss it. Uh, there is limited tickets available still. And then Sunday, we're going to come over here to my beloved uh, athletic club, to the Blue Room, and have another mastermind. And these, these, this is like just top notch over here. You know what I mean? You got the mastermind in there, the mastermind in here, the two 
awesome places and then of course a conference at the double tree it's well done man i'm, I'm really proud of it of, of what we've uh, managed to put together sam and i and um yeah it's i'm looking forward to many more you know in the future but this one is is uh it's gonna be jam-packed with knowledge and information and you know it's it's just it's the place to be anyway there's limited tickets available still for that all right now let's get into the topic uh, I, I'm thinking of going like 10 minutes here, man. Not too much. I already, I've done a lot of podcasts. I'm doing this to keep myself busy for the long weekend. But um, recently, uh, th- you know, I've been doing a lot of Instagram lives. I really enjoy doing them. And I've been talking about as uh, I'm doing the live, people are saying, yo, did you trade this stock? Did you trade this stock? The market is insane. Did you see this? Oh, my God. The market is, woo, everything's flying. Um and I'm like, whoa, hold on, man. I, actually, I don't trade those stocks that you mentioned or whoever mentioned that. Like, I'm not looking at those. I spoke to Mighty Stocks right now for the, we did a, the, the podcast. He looks to short the overcrowd. No, to buy, he goes long the overcrowded short plays. And I'm not part of those. This doesn't meet my criteria. You know, I have certain rules and I stick by the rules. I'm disciplined. When I walk into the trading, in my trading office or when I'm at my desk, it's like playing the piano. It's calm. I'm like Stevie Wonder. You know, have you seen, if you've seen Stevie Wonder play the piano, it's enjoyable. He's, he's a blind man, so like he's with his sunglasses on, and he's just jamming. It's not, that's the way I like to, to see myself trained, like the, like the composer of, a, of an orchestra, of a symphony. You know, that's the way I approach it. And like at this point, the market is not insane for me. You are like, yo, did you see the market is insane? It's like, no, no, it's not insane, bro. Like for me, it's not insane. I, it's like, you know, it's like... um. My mom messaged me the other day after the Super Bowl. She's like, well, David, did you see that, that, that uh, there was a trader that, w- that ran naked in the Super Bowl? And I'm like, what? I didn't watch the Super Bowl, by the way. I was like, mom, that's not, I text her. I was like, that's not a trade. That's not what I'm doing. I, I, I don't know what that is, but like, I don't do that. Like, that screams to me. I don't know who this person is, but if you're streaking, if, you're, if your mentor is streaking naked in the, in the Super Bowl, <laughs> that's not that's a fool rule man you know it, it it's like you got to call a spade a spade it's like no like trading is not that man you running streaking naked in, in the super bowl uh you know getting arrested and like you know all this stuff it, it's no matter what way you spin it that's not that doesn't align well with the with the trader you know what i mean like a real trader like what i do is is like is staying calm disciplined rigorous uh meticulous you have a process, you go by it, you know, this is, this is a, what you stay calm, you know, you're in a calm state while you execute decisions in a high pressure environment, high pressure decision making, uh, you know, it's, it's not insane, you know, it's like when I see people saying, oh, the market is insane, did you see this, did you see the Chinese stock, did you see this, the Israeli stock, this nano flow, big flow, did you see this one, yet, yeah, like, are you short this, are you short that, the market is insane, bro, it's insane, like, no nah, man, it's not insane for me. This past week, I made um, over thirty-five thousand dollars. Not one stock was actually there was some stressful situations in the morning, but the market was not insane. With my process, it's like process of elimination. It's like process, like like a flight checklist of an airplane going to to fly. You know, it's like you, you're doing you're double checking your checklist. I'm cross referencing different things of my criteria. I'm making sure everything's on point and I'm entering. The market is not insane for me. Just like I'm in LA right now. In LA, like if I go uh, to somebody on the street, bro, LA is insane. Did you see they just put the Kobe statue? The La- this, let's say 2020. The Lakers won the, won the championship. The Dodgers won the World Series. They're doing donuts over here. This guy has a tent over there. This guy's shooting up fentanyl. This guy's doing meth. There's so much fucking traffic. They got the beach in Big Bear. Yo, we got a party in Big Bear in the Hollywood Hills. We got the... Like, bro, LA is insane. No, bro, like, nah, nah, man. LA is not insane for me. <laughs> so that's what I think, like, when these traders come to me and they're like, the market is insane. It's like crypto. It's more volatile than crypto. This is crazy. Like, you got to check yourself, man. This is not the way to approach the market, man. That's not... That's, you're, that's a crack addict. You know, like for me, LA is not insane. I've managed to like put my environment together really nicely. I got my apartment over there, my office right there, my awesome gym over here. 
I, ha I just got my chiropractor across the street, really nice chiropractor. I got m Massage Envy me mem uh, membership over there. I get, you know, once a month, I'll get a massage there. Uh, I don't, I got all the nice steakhouses. I know where all of them are. I got this rooftop where I do podcasts now. Um, I got the blue room downstairs. I got, you know, every, like, I've organized my, my environment. And it's not insane. I don't, I'm not around the crackheads. I'm not, I don't even drive. Uh, I'm not part of the LA traffic community, you know? So I don't got to deal with parking. I don't got to deal with all this chaos. It's organized. And the same thing is with trading. You can organize your trading through your process and criteria. It's not chaotic. If it's chaotic, if you're searching for chaos, if you're searching for that volatility, for like crypto is more volatile, I can leverage, I can use leverage. And you, you know, it's like, this is, you're coming from, the, from a bad place for trading, man. This is gonna work against you. It's gonna, it's just destructive. So yeah, man, the, the market is not, it shouldn't be insane. Like what I do every day is not insane, man. It's not insane at all. Like I have a, I'm not gonna say it's boring, because I, I love I love it all, but it's not insane. It's like it's almost like a like a constant flow state. I'm calm, I'm happy with my life, and I love what I'm doing. I love where I'm going, and I'm just executing. I have a process that I know up to this point I've developed really nicely, and I just execute, execute, execute. On my downtime, I'll do some emails. I'll do some in podcast invitations. I'll work on some other things i'll talk to my friends about stocks i'll do some trade reviews it's it's very calm and then i'll come work out i work out over here i work out 57th floor actually it has a really nice gym i'll work out over there i'll you know it's like very very calm and flows constant flow state it's not insane i'm not I, 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 jumping with excitement and uh, dopamine, look, searching for dopamine, you know, it's not that at all. It's, and it's taken me, um, it takes a while to get to that point where you're just in a constant flow state. So, but anyway, um, what else? Uh, I'm going to keep this podcast short. So like, yeah, check out that Mighty Stocks one. I got a lot out of that one. I'll just, put, I'll just go over that a little bit briefly since it's fresh in my head. I just finished doing it. Um, you know, so he looks for the bear traps. He basically is, is communicating through the whole podcast that the shorts are overcrowded. And there's a lot of newbie shorts. And the newbie shorts cause a certain amount of squeeze. And then the big boy shorts are the ones that send it exponential, like we saw with BMR. Um, BMR was not part of my criteria. The Israeli stocks, I don't short those. So I was not part of it. Not, you know, and my discipline is so, so, like... It's, there's, it's not up for discussion. There's no compromise. It's like I mentioned in an, in an audio podcast that different subscribers. It's like that movie Watchmen, that Rorschach. Rorschach was the guy with the mask that moved around. He said, even in the face of Armageddon, never compromise. And he says it throughout the movie. He goes, even in, with, his, with his voice, even in the face of Armageddon, never compromise. Never compromise. So like my rules, never compromise. It's like um, I did a podcast with Vesh, and Vesh I met in the Tim Sykes conference, and he stood up there in the middle of the crowd. Um, I love having context, real life context. That's how I remember things and internalize them. So I remember Vesh standing up there. He's a young trader. Uh, this is 2022, I believe. And he's with the microphone, with, and he says to Tim Sykes, he's like about the vegetarian thing. Uh, because he's vegetarian. He said, you know, it's like, my discipline is like me being vegetarian. If it's, you put the meat in front of me, I'm not going to eat it. I'm vegetarian. So that, that was so clear of an example of like following discipline and like making it your identity, you know? So like a nano flow pops up. I'm not shorting the nano flow. I just, I don't do it. It's my identity. The same thing with the Chinese stocks. I don't short the Chinese stocks. It's part of my identity. It's been cruise control since uh, just eliminate this trash out of, out of your diet. Uh, the same thing with the Israeli stock. It's, it's not, I don't trade those. Um, you know, and there's some more with, the, with my criteria. I have like five. Actually, the Business Insider did the best rundown of my criteria. And it's like every day I check through that criteria and it makes the market more organized for me to trade. 
No, it's not chaotic. It's not insane. It's not insane. Like if I were to come here in L to LA as a tourist, I'd be like, oh my God, LA is, this is like a newbie trader. Tourist is a newbie to LA. Trader is a newbie to the market, small cap. So the first time the, the, the tourist is seeing LA is like, oh my God, LA is insane. There's tents everywhere. Did you see Skid Row? Oh my God, Skid Row. I saw a guy shooting up. Um, and they, they don't know. They just, they're, they're a newbie. They don't know you, you shouldn't go there. You shouldn't go to Skid Row. Go to Beverly Hills. Go to Santa Monica. Go to Malibu. Go to the Athletic Club. Go to the, like, you can't get into the U.S. Bank Tower. It's heavy security. Nobody's allowed. Unless you, you come for the, uh, the mastermind the first day, I'll, 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 I'll have them let you up. <laughs> but, um, you know, it just, it's not insane, man. It's not. So the market is not insane. And, I, you know, new people, new traders, be careful who you're listening to. Because if someone is trying to entice you to join um, what they're doing, you know, like, hey, bro, you got to trade. You're missing out on this. The market is insane. Bro, you, look at this 1,000% move. You could have had some. Like, that's not, that's not how to go about things, you know. That's, that's called, like, you're, like, you know, it's, I, I don't know what it is, man. It's not good. But anyway. That about wraps it up here. Um, it's a little chilly. Put my jacket back on. I just, I love, I love the dusk, you know? So when I was in architecture school, we used to do a lot of architecture photography and we'll, we'll wait for this time exactly, it, like magic hour. It kinda is, man. It's a lot of clouds, but um, it's really nice. And it's Sunday, one more day to kill. I think uh, tomorrow I'm just gonna be relaxing and just, uh, I might watch a movie actually, just relax. But anyways, I'll see you guys later.